First of all, I want to thank you all for being here this evening. And I want to clarify something that this is not a demonstration uh, of any kind. This is simply to inform uh, everybody, uh, bring everybody up to speed on some things that's going on in our county and our school system. By show of hands, how many people here know that there is a meeting in the morning to announce a new superintendent? How many people know that? All right, put your hands down. How many people didn't know that? Okay. That is one of the things that we want to uh, inform everybody of, and we need as many people to be that meeting as possible. And I want to share with you a statement that I shared with you uh, by way of the NAACP, and I think it's important for us to uh, share this again. But we do believe that our school system has been plagued with a tradition of unfair uh, hiring practices and operations that has aided in stripping the morale of our school system and our community. The school system has an opportunity to change this trend by invoking a fair selection of the next superintendent. It has been rumored, and I want to emphasize that it's been rumored, that there are board members who wish to continue this unfortunate tradition. The rumor is that a less qualified candidate will be chosen. And this is something that we need to be aware of. It is our hopes that this is not true. I also uh, want to stress disappointment that this announcement comes with little warning, which will be held on a Tuesday morning at 10.30 a.m., which is uncharacteristic of our school board. I don't know about you, but this process just that's passed the smell test for me. So I am calling on all of you all. Please tweet everybody you know, Facebook them, text them, or whatever you do, and let them know about the meeting because we need to be informed of who our next superintendent's going to be. That board meeting is scheduled for 10.30 in the morning. And I am asking that we give full support to our school system as long as they make fair decisions in our county. If they do not, I want to be very clear that I will be calling on every organization in this county to protest any fair, any unfair appointment of that position. And at this time, I'm going to ask Reverend Melvin Clark, who's the pastor of Washington Baptist. Um, and again, as Reverend Murphy has said, thank y'all so much for coming. Uh, for me, I've, for approximately three years, I've worked with the Cleveland County School Board, with representatives from the school administration, and local community leaders in dealing with diversity. Uh, it was the expectations from many of us and the community leaders that Cleveland County, in the process of selecting a new school superintendent, would take this opportunity to seek the best candidate that could promote change in our county. Throughout our meetings, we've heard time and time again that sometimes is not the, the uh, most qualified, but the best fit. And we're saying that we need someone else to look at how it fits. It appears the school board in practicing is practicing the same philosophy of hiring, which they have applied in the past, spending money on a consultant, However, going with what they've always done, and that concept is friends and families hiring the best fit, not the most qualified. It is time for a change in Cleveland County. This is not the best hire for our county. We, the community leaders and citizens of Cleveland County, prepare to show the Cleveland County School Board that we are not happy if, in fact, the rumor is true as to whom they are planning on hiring. And that person is within the current administration. We will do whatever it takes. If it means making, a, uh, if if it means we make our decision at the voting polls in the next election, we just want justice, fairness, and change in our county. Several of the leaders in Cleveland County, self included, are preparing to remind the school board that if our community, that our community has a voice by offering protests at sporting events, 
school functions, just to name a few, within legal ramifications. It is our intent to remind the school board members that they are the voice of the community. We, we refuse not to have our voices heard. We expect you to do the right thing and give us a chance with change to our school administration, not continue to do what you've done over the past eight years. Thank you all again for your presence here, and I do look to see as many of you all as possible in the morning at 10.30 a.m. And my only plea to our Cleveland County Board of Education is to do the right thing. And so with that, I'm going to ask Brother James Maddox, who serves as the third party president of our NWCG branch, to lead us in our closing prayer. Let us pray. Our Again, Lord, a few of us have been here on this occasion. Lord, help us tomorrow morning, Lord, when we meet, that we make the right decision and everything that we have. It's in our power that we can do the Lord to better the, the conditions in this community. Yes. Help us to do that. Help us to be just. Help, help the one that we are dealing with to be just with us. Yes. Just go with us and stand by us. Yes. Then, Master, when this world can't hold us a home in the moment, Lord, give us a home in our kingdom where we serve thee forever. Be it bless me, ask in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.